my gosh, I completely forgot I needed to do video today. I was so comfortable sleeping on my neck supportive pillow right here. See that? Now you might be wondering why on earth I have this supportive pillow here and why I'm pretending to be asleep before I start a video. Well, I'm going to talk to you about that. And today's video is discussing the top three things that you need to check if you've been diagnosed with a vertical heterophoria. I'll get to the pillow in a minute. First of all, let's talk to you about how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local though, you can still connect with us and we can still help you. Please go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and schedule a consultation so you can talk with me about how I can help you with your vision. Now let's go back to why I'm talking about vertical heterophoria and why there's a pillow on my desk. It is very squishy and nice and lovely, and I do highly recommend them, but let's talk about that in a minute. So vertical heterophoria is a problem in which the eyes are vertically misaligned. It's almost like a wrong posture of your eyes. It can cause a lot of different symptoms. It might cause you to be seeing double vision. It might cause you to lose your place with reading, feel disoriented, even dizzy, maybe even have like a slight vertigo type of uh, feeling that you experience. But vertical heterophoria is caused from a lot of different things. And we're gonna discuss three things that you need to look at first. If your doctor diagnoses you with this condition before you jump into something more serious to try and correct it. So number one, what you want to look into is what's happening with your cervical spine. This is the top part or the neck part of your spine. And most commonly, the top three vertebrae of your cervical spine are what can get mislocated or out of position. So it's C1, 2, and 3. Primarily even C1 and 2 that can cause some issues with the vertical heterophoria. Now this is not if someone has diagnosed you with a vertical tropia which is different. That's a misalignment of the eye that's large and, um, and also is associated with strabismus where a vertical heterophoria is like sometimes the eyes are misaligning, sometimes they're not off vertically. So it's a little bit different. Now, again, going back to discussing the three top three cervical spine, go to a chiropractor or a doctor who works on those things to be able to assess if that could be a potential problem for you. If that happens to be off, an alignment, and then going back to the doctor that d diagnosed you originally as vertical heterophoria can tell you, did that do it? Is it gone? If it isn't, the second thing to be looking into, and I recommend you do this all at one time, but the second thing to be looking to is the is spine in general. So the entire spine and in particular, the hips actually can be a problem with the vertical heterophoria. So if the hips happen to be like this, or even tilted, or one is positioned forward versus backwards, this can actually set off a vertical heterophoria too. Now, how on earth would something like that happen? A slip, a fall, some sort of an accident, um, slipped on the ice, maybe you tripped and fell down the steps. So anything like that, maybe even you just walked really hard off of a curb or fell into like a ditch, you know, where one foot went down and the other part of you stayed up. These sorts of things can actually cause a misalignment in the hips. And it's really important because if your vertical heterophoria is coming from something like that, one, you're going to be noticing some other pain in your body too. So make sure that you get your hips adjusted in alignment. It can affect the length of your leg even. All of that could potentially throw off the vertical alignment of your eyes. Now, what's the number three thing to be looking at? Well, the number three thing to be looking at is the potential that your shoes are a problem. And what I mean by this is if you look at the shoes and you notice that the sole is worn, 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 <laughs> I'm making up words today, folks, worn down on one side, then it would mean like, well, that might be thinner and this could be thicker. And that would be enough to throw off your hips your spine, even your cervical vertebrae, and that could cause a problem with the vertical heterophoria. So what happens if you, let's go back to that cervical spine. What happens if you maybe sleep wrong at night or you have a weird position that you sleep or you wake up the next day and like, man, the neck is hurting and it's not feeling comfortable. You know, that could be that your cervical spine is out of alignment and it could cause you some problems. You might feel dizzy or disoriented a lack of blood flow even from these top three vertebrae being in the wrong position, pinching off the arteries in the neck can cause a lot of different things, including things like 
a visual field effect that shows up when all of a sudden, like you've got like kind of a kink in the neck, it might hurt. And you're like, wow, man, why do I see like these weird spots right here? So that could even potentially be something to be looked into, obviously. The reason why I have this pillow sitting here is, is that we can do some things to try to minimize the possibility of the cervical, the hips and full spine, and even the shoes obviously being a problem and causing us a vertical head or Well, the first thing is, is that I'm not doing a paid endorsement. I make no money by recommending to you that this pillow could be of benefit to you, but this is something that I've tried lots of pillows throughout the years and really probably spent hundreds upon hundreds of dollars trying to find just the right pillow to get my neck as a side sleeper in that right position so I don't have continual problems when I wake up. And even myself, if I'm doing a video at the end of the day and I have maybe slept wrong or had my neck kind of at, you know, no, like I'm out of alignment and I'm doing a video at the end of the day, I can experience a vertical misalignment of my eyes. And I'll be uncomfortable talking with people, uncomfortable talking and looking people in the eye, uncomfortable even doing a video for you all. And that can just be because my cervical spine is out of alignment. So it's very important to be looking at this. Now this pillow is a specific pillow made by a company called Sutera. It's made out of like a memory foam. It has like this nice like divot here where you put your head in it. And it works well for someone who's a side sleeper such as me. Uh, it has this little spot here that if you put one arm over the top, the other one can kind of glide in this little spot on the side. But you can also sleep on your back with this. The idea is that it's supporting the natural curve of your neck and letting your head, which is the larger volume of your, your brain and your skull, rest backwards down. So this goes with the curve of the neck and it creates a nice dip in that um, that helps to maintain the alignment of your cervical spine. Now, other things that you could be looking forward to or looking to do would be just being cautious about how you are stepping on things. I know that might sound kind of silly, but you know, if you happen to be walking in a yard with a lot of potholes or something like that, be walking really carefully. You know, if you're hopping out of a truck and there's no board to jump onto and you're hopping down, don't hop off on one foot. You're going to throw off your, your hips that way. There are certain things that you know you probably should do in order to make sure that you don't misalign your hips. And with shoes, that's really easy. Just do a quick self-inspection of those shoes to find out could they be a culprit or a problem. Now let's just say that you've hit all three of these things. It's not your cervical spine, it's not your general spine or your hips, and it's not your shoes. And you've been diagnosed with this. Well, what do you do next? Well, oftentimes the doctor is going to recommend to you probably to get prism glasses. If you've watched any of my other videos before, you know I'm not necessarily a fan of this. The reason why is that prism glasses are meant to give a quick fix. So they're meant to relieve the dizziness or the problems that you're experiencing, maybe even the double vision that you have associated with the vertical heterophoria. The problem is really sneaky though, because over time your brain adapts to those prism glasses, kind of like my brain may adapt to, or my body may adapt to a medication that I take, a supplement I take, and all of a sudden that same medication or supplement that I take just doesn't do me any good anymore. Well, prism glasses have that same effect. And so over time, the brain adapts to them and the alignment of the eyes adapts to that. And what we tend to see as a small vertical heterophoria that started becomes progressively worse and larger. Now there may be doctors who would wanna argue against this and that's totally fine, I don't care. But I'm here to say that as far as the patients that I see from about 21, gosh, going on 22 years of experience this summer, there's a lot of adaptation that happens after someone starts wearing a prism. And it's absolutely true that most people prism adapt and the problem gets worse over time. So that vertical heterophoria that you went in that was a minor problem, even though you may have had a lot of symptoms associated with that, has now become this big thing out of control. The prisms aren't really helping. You might still be having a lot of problems. Or you may have even found that after wearing the prisms for like a week or a month or so that, you know, they just weren't the best thing ever for you and you just didn't want to do it. So then what? 
what do you do? Well, the next thing to look at then is, well, let's just teach your brain and your eyes how to use the muscles of the eyes together to align that vertical problem and get the eyes to be in a straight, um, same plane working together so that you don't have one slipping higher than the other on occasion. And that really is, is a customized vision therapy program utilizing syntonics with a specific protocol of syntonics that's super important. And not every little syntonics program with red or green glasses is going to cut it and work. In fact, most doctors that I work with and help them know how to do these types of things for our patients don't understand that you can correct a vertical heterophoria beyond a certain amount or a vertical hypertropia. They say it's not possible. You can't correct that. And I'm here to say, again, 22 years of experience, that's not true. You absolutely can. The highest amount of vertical misalignment of the eyes that can be corrected down to zero with no type of prism in glasses and no type of surgery is about a 16 prism diopter, which is pretty large. We prefer, if it's going to be under that, obviously I'd like to pick and choose and say, oh, give me a six prism diopter to fix and correct as opposed to 16, because 16 is definitely larger and it's a lot more challenging to fix and correct, but it is treatable and it can get better. If there is a pre-existing condition such as Parkinson's disease, maybe MS, Alzheimer's, or something else that could be owing to our issue, maybe even like myasthenia gravis, that could be owing to our issue of this vertical misalignment, then it becomes tricky. We might not be able to correct it all the way, even if it is under 16 prism diopters. It may mean that we take someone from say 16, or even if it's higher, like 20 prism diopters, and we're able to get that greatly reduced down, but they may still have a little bit of, of misalignment of the eyes at the end, again, only if there's a pre-existing condition. Now, if you've had something happen like a traumatic brain injury or something of that nature, maybe even a brain tumor, it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis of saying what is going to happen in your particular situation. So we do, do need to consult with you. And for that, let's go ahead and close this video today with reminding you how you can connect with us. So if you're local and you want to find out how to fix and correct your vertical heterophoria after knowing you looked at all these other things and neither, there's still a problem, then call us at 618-288-1489 or go to our website if you're not local and our website is visionforlifeworks.com and schedule a consultation with us directly. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the notifications of all videos that we make. And if you find this to be helpful, maybe because you know someone who has this problem, maybe it's your next door neighbor, then please pass this video on. Thank you. And here's to your getting a lovely night of good sleep with your Sutera pillow.